Hey YouTube, uh, this is a demonstration of a solid state Tesla switch. This is a circuit that was invented by Ronald Brandt in the 80s. Um, he's reported to have given it to John Bedini, who then kind of made it famous in the 80s uh, with his cigar box switch. He called it a Tesla switch. I'm not sure it really has anything to do with uh, Nikola Tesla, but essentially what the circuit does, if you're not familiar with it, as you take two batteries and put them in series and you go through a load which in this case could be a light bulb or uh, i've got a bridge rectifier here that's charging a battery the two batteries that are in series become 24 volts they go through the load and they go into two batteries in parallel and then uh, these switch back the other way these now become the series batteries they go through the load to the two parallel batteries at 12 volts so what you end up with is um, AC power going back and forth. Um, the way I'm running this with solid state components requires uh, six single pole switches and they are driven by a signal generator. And I'll show the circuit here if anyone's interested in it. Um, this here would be the waveform in yellow across the transformer. This is a two to one transformer, so it's outputting uh, closer to 26 volts and that's required in order to you know charge 12 volt battery um, would also work just running a regular ac load um, across the output i'll show that quick here you can see the light bulb comes on um, what i found with this circuit is uh, the batteries all run down i didn't find any evidence that it was um, producing an efficiency, you know, close to 100%. Um, when the two batteries that are in series discharge across a load, uh, conventionally, you're only going to recover half the power into the lower bank. Uh, the other half of the power does go through the load and can be captured, you know, minus the efficiencies there in the charge battery or whether you want to run a light bulb. Um, I'll show you the waveforms just quickly on the scope with a, a clamp meter here. So you can see the dotted line would be would be no current flow. So you can see current leaves the battery and then also comes back when it switches the other way. Um, this would be the adjacent battery. So they all are going to net out close to an average of, of zero, uh, but they have maxes up around you know half of an amp and mins down around a negative half amp. Uh, but again, the, you know, over time, the batteries all go down, I've found. Uh, and I've built this several different ways. I've, I've done it uh, using a rotor as a load. I've done it mechanically. Um, I did a video a couple of years ago using um, relays, mechanical relays. But I wanted to try it uh, this way using solid state relays. Um, I think years ago, another YouTuber, Wind Power and more, he, he commented I should try this. And it took me a while to figure out the circuit. Um, but it can be done with single pole switches. This is the circuit I use to drive the switches. You use a signal uh, generator through an SSR, so it's optically coupled to the circuit. And you put three of the switches um, in series. So switch one, two, and three are all gonna fire at the same time. Uh, four, five, and six are all gonna fire at the opposite time. And if you study this diagram or any of the other ones that are out there on the internet, uh, you can, you can uh, kind of figure out how you need to get the switches to fire. But uh, that was my effort at a solid state Tesla switch. And uh, maybe other people have uh, tried this on their own. I just wanted to share my results. Thanks for watching.